What's up guys, it's Brad from Light Architect here. Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how you can export an emission pass to composite the explosions you make utilizing Chaos in Blender more effectively. I will first go through the node compositing process inside of Blender, and then I will show you how to export both the beauty pass and the emission pass in case you want to composite your explosion inside of After Effects or another third party compositor of your choice. Anyways guys, here we are inside of Blender and this is our 3D scene here. I will be doing a full breakdown of this whole scene in a later video Video, but for now I'll just be using it as an example to show you how to export that emission pass and composite with it. Pretty much what we have in our scene here are a few City Builder 3D buildings imported and just placed in different areas of the scene through our City Builder 3D tab here on the right side. And then we've used Chaos with the Dynamic Smoke Fire option and the Concrete Debris to create an omnidirectional burst on this building here in the background. But anyways, more details on that process coming soon. All right, so before I go into the compositing process, I'm going to go through a few of my output render settings. So let's go ahead and go to the camera tab here. I typically have my render engine under cycles and I usually keep my sampling around 40, but for this example, I'm using 20 just so it's a little bit faster render. Then under the light paths option here, under max bounces, I would increase my volume bounces to four for better volumetric lighting. And then under the volumes tab here, I would decrease my step size to around 0.05 and put my max steps around 260 or 270. Under the output settings here, you can choose your resolutions and the percentage of quality you want depending on what you're going for. I usually render it at 1920 by 1080 and then 100% resolution. But again, for this example, just to save time, I'm putting it at 90%. Then under the output setting, you would choose, of course, where you want to output your explosion composite. And then I usually use the open EXR file format with an alpha channel, as you can see here with the RGBA selected. Then finally, to output that emission pass so you can composite it better inside of your compositor, I would just go here to the layer properties tab and then under the passes section here, just make sure that your emission checkbox here is selected and then Blender will output an emission pass in your compositor so you can composite it for your final output or export it individually so you can use that in a compositor of your choice. In addition to your emission pass here selected, you also of course want to have your combined beauty pass checkbox here selected as well, but that should be there by default. All right, so anyways, once you have these selected and you have chosen your output for your explosion, then you would just go to render and render image or animation, depending on whether you're rendering out an image or animation, obviously, and uh, then give your computer some time to uh, render out your image. I've actually done this already. So this was our render. And uh, as you can see here, this is our beauty pass, the combined pass here. But I'm going to show you how to composite this with the emission pass in the compositor so you have a little bit more control over this explosion and it's a little bit more effective composite. All right, so we'll just go to the compositing tab here. And as you can see, we've added some glow and glare to the explosion in addition to adding this uh, background sky that looks pretty cool. So I'll just go ahead and break down this compositing workflow for you really quick. All right, so one way we could composite this explosion and how I would normally do it in this specific scenario would be just by adding an input node with our render layer and then adding an output node with a viewer at first anyway. And then we would connect our image uh, of our combined pass to our viewer node here and just take a look at it. And this is is our uh, base render layer essentially and what we could do here is we could start adding some effects for example the uh, glare pass here maybe with some fog glow and then decrease the threshold to 0.1 and as you can see here we can start adding some glow and glare to the brightest spots of our image here something like this and this is a pretty effective technique as long as the areas in your scene or the explosion is the brightest spot of your image so that you can essentially just use the threshold values here to isolate the brightest spots of the image but the problem with this technique is that you are essentially adding these glare nodes over the entire image and then using the threshold to just select the brightest spots so if there are any other bright spots in your image those will also have glow and glare added to them as well so the better way to do this is to use this emission pass here which I showed you how to output and use this through the glare nodes and then composite that emission pass on top of the original beauty pass so to do that I use this above setup here and it's a fairly simple setup here what we did is we took the emission pass here and we ran it through a bunch of glare nodes and you can add whatever effects you want to add to uh, those flames and then we took the emission pass here and what the emission pass looks like if we just isolate it by itself we'll add a viewer node here and we'll just move our emission pass to the viewer is just essentially the parts of the scene that are emitting light so essentially just the flames so we're going to run that emission pass through a bunch of glare nodes by itself and then 
which will then look like this with all of the glare added on top of it. And then we are going to composite this on top of our beauty pass of the render and then composite that whole thing on top of our sky background. So this is essentially the node setup we have here. And uh, as you can see, this is just a sky background that we've added. So to break down the whole setup here, what we've done is we've added a input of a sky background here, and then we've run it through a scale node, and essentially all this did was make the background sky fit our render. So that's all that does here. And then we've used the alpha over node here to put the original beauty pass combined pass on top of the uh, background sky plate here. So that's what this whole setup here is for, essentially just the background sky combined with our beauty pass render. And then we finally used an add node here to composite the emission pass with all of its glow and glare on top of the sky and beauty pass render of our entire scene here. And then we've taken that and we've exported it into a composite and a viewer node just so we could see it as a background. And then this would be essentially your setup to export this render. If by any chance you are like me and you use an external compositor and you want to output your emission pass along with your beauty pass separately to composite in that third party program, what you would do here is you would take your composite node here and I'll just drag it over here and I would just export my beauty pass directly to my composite and then I would just create a uh, new output node with the file output and then I would export the emission pass to this file output and then I would of course change this base path to a new folder for that emission pass and then I have two outputs the composite that would be output in your normal output tab and then I would have my file output where my emission pass would be exported to and when we do that we have those two passes to play around with in a compositor so essentially if I go to After Effects here I can show you that setup as well and now when we go inside of After Effects, as you can see here, we can composite our mission pass on top of our original beauty pass here and control all of our glow and glare separately so we can just add them to the flames of our explosion here. And uh, as you can see here, when we just isolate this layer, this is our essentially our mission pass by itself. And obviously this is a work in progress. There's some work to be done, but you can see that we can add whatever effects we want just to the flames of the image and uh, have a lot more control over the final result as you can see here this is just the beauty pass and then with the glow added on top of it and I think I need to dial it down a bit but you get the idea just a lot more ways to have control in that whole compositing process anyways guys that's it for this video I hope it was helpful as always feel free to leave any comments if you have any questions or suggestions in the comment section below there will be more tutorials coming soon utilizing the chaos add-on and of course city builder as well so I hope you enjoy them I'll see you guys next time